Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to do a book review. Uh, the book we are reviewing is called Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn and Scientific Python Toolkits. So, at a full disclosure before we shoot the video, this book was provided to me by the author. Uh, they asked for me to do a book review, so I read the book, went through some examples, uh, tried to give it a full shakedown of covering everything under the sun of what it kind of covers, what's the purpose of the book. Again, trying to get a full grasp of what the book's really aimed at and then trying to judge it from that perspective. And I'll kind of give you my take on this book in general, but thank you for providing the book. And we're just gonna dive in here to the book review itself. Okay, so let's start off with what the book states at the intro, who they think it's for, and I'm gonna explain why I think it's for someone actually different, and perhaps that's just gonna be a little bit difference of opinion here. But uh, it says, this book is for machine learning data scientists who want to master the theoretical and practical sides of machine learning algorithms and understand how to use them to solve real life problems. Uh, working knowledge of Python and a basic understanding of underlying mathematics and statistical concepts is required. Nevertheless, this book will walk you through the new concepts to cater to both new and experienced data scientists. Okay, so the book itself, I think is too, too much lacking in detail and information. So. I'll just kind of give you an example of this. They tell you, for example, like a short paragraph on this is how something's done. So for example, this is what a decision tree is. And then there's a short snippet of code on how to do it. And that's it. And then all of a sudden dives into like hyperparameter tuning. And then it goes into, you know, this is how you hyperparameter tune. Here's some code. These are the results. This is what you select. It's very, I guess the book's very dry in the sense that it's like, here's a really short example. Here's a really short explanation. Here's a really short output, and then it dives on to something different and new. Um, for a beginner's book, it should cover, in my opinion, a far deeper understanding across the board. It is not theoretical by any stretch of the imagination. Um, it's really, I'd say this book is based for people with a business background who have some understanding of Python. So I think the target audience is gonna be very small and there's not many people in this boat, right? You come from a business background, right? You need to learn how to program in Python. You need to learn data science, machine learning. Maybe you need to learn some statistics, for example. You need all this together in one package. Um, but I do see the use for the book. Some students are gonna go out, they're gonna get some education, some learning in Python. They're gonna get down the basics and they wanna just dive into data science. Uh, this book's gonna be for you if it's just gonna be like a quick, easy, I built model, here's model, here's output, and done. Uh, from a perspective though, coming from a quant finance, so that's how I review a lot of things, and I'll try to step back a second and look at this from a data science perspective, but from quant finance, the stuff that's done in the book is too simple, it's too dumbed down, it doesn't provide the details that I would need um, in quant finance. Like if I saw this type of work and this sort of explanations for things, I would fail these models. You cannot use them. Uh, there might be decent models, it might fit okay, but a not enough analysis, rigor, is really put into the concept of model development here. Um, again, if you're gonna be working now from a bigger perspective, stepping back, you're a junior data scientist, you only have an undergrad degree, or more specifically, let's say you come from a business background, you've learned Python, you wanna just implement these in a very low casual setting, perhaps at a corporation that's not really, I don't know, putting a lot of effort into their data science teams. These would provide you a good starting point for getting off the ground, getting some models in place and kind of using them. Now that being said, I wouldn't use these for big projects, things that are crucial and impactful. Again, you'd probably hire a senior data scientist, someone with more experience. But again, this book would be great for someone doing like business analytics, uh, corporate finance perhaps, something that's simple, straightforward. And this will provide you that great, easy kind of interaction, right? It's the simple code, you plug stuff in, it's gonna run. So yes, the code in the book runs well, the code is written well, so I give you a thumbs up on that. Um, but in general, it's not really a data scientist book, right? Uh, and saying that it covers theoretical and practical sides, there's not enough information in here and perhaps it's because the book itself is fairly thin. So, I mean, that's a good thing in the fact that it gets you going, but at the same time, it's not really enough to do good development or good data science. Okay, and just to cover the layout here, so there are other books out there I think that are far better um, because they cover a wide variety of topics, they don't cover them in great depth. I'm gonna put this book in that category as well to kind of give it level playing field, right? It's not a specialist book only in one topic. But that being said, I just don't feel like it covered enough of the tools required to do good solid data science. Um, the structuring of the book was kind of odd too. So it starts off with introduction machine learning, uh, making decision trees, 
thumbs up. I think that's awesome. That's the best place to start, right? Do an introduction, do decision trees. And then it goes into making decisions with linear equations. And then the next chapter is preparing your data. So I find this really odd and backwards. The data preparation should come at the very beginning. So data preparation covers everything, stats, data science, linear models, all that. You need to have data prep in everything you do. That should come as the very, very first chapter. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of the fact that the, the linear modeling came in here, but it's okay. And then do image processing, and they go through doing classifications for text. Again, it, they mention in here like advanced supervised learning, and they go into neural nets. I just don't find the material again in depth enough. So just to wrap this video up here, I give it a two star out of five. Uh, if you're from a business analytics background, you're looking for something simple and sweet and kind of just to kind of get a taste of everything and just dive in and make some tools here and there, uh, it's the book for you. If it's for a data science or a machine learning junior or an advanced person, anyone under the sun that's doing that as a serious full-time job, I don't recommend it. Quant finance, no, this is this is not enough. You really need something that explains things better. So even as an introductory book, more thought, more processing could have been put into explaining the nitty gritty details. And I completely understand this, right? This book's like 350 pages. They're not trying to right, build an academic book. It's supposed to be a practical application book. But again, I just didn't find it rigorous enough to even be an introductory book uh, made for someone in machine learning or data science. Again. I, it's great, give it a thumbs up for those looking maybe at a business analytics perspective, but it really does need some more meat explanation and examples of code. So anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.